So this video is the basic download and usage of Voice Record Pro. If you don't have it already, you want to go to the App Store, then search Voice Record Pro. It should look like this. It has a VU meter and it has a few other features. So I'll click open. First thing it's going to do is it's going to ask to access your microphone. It needs this to actually do recording. So to access the settings, you just hit the gear wheel in the upper right, then hit settings. If you go to recording, what you'll notice is that it doesn't really offer you much in the way of parameters. You can only change from MPEG-4 to MP3, which isn't really professional quality audio. So instead, let's back out and go into advanced recording. So once you're in advanced recording, the top thing is called record engine, and you have a choice between basic and advanced. Make it be advanced. So if you hit record, you have a choice between different record engines. So you have your basic, which just allows you to record MPEG-4, MPEG-3. So you want to be in advanced, though. So once you're in advanced, you can hit the plus key on record format, and it'll take you to the WAV format. Then you hit the plus key on the sample rate until you get to 48, and the plus key on bit depth until you get to 24 bits. Down here at the bottom, if you haven't already, change the record engine to advanced. Because you're just recording on your phone, with the channels, you don't need it to be stereo, and you want it to be mono instead. So once you start recording, you can see that you have a source, what I found is you can actually change the source in the middle of the recording, which is interesting. When you finish recording, you hit stop. Then it takes you to this screen here. This screen asks you what you want to do with the file once you have it completed. One thing you can do is add metadata to it. Do that by hitting notes. If you press where it says this record has no notes, tap to add notes. It brings up your keyboard. Up at the top, you can add things like a date time, the device that you're recording it on. If you feel like allowing it to access your location, it'll put the address of where you recorded this and save when you're done. Then you can upload it to your Google Drive. On this screen, it allows you one more chance to change the title. When you're finished, hit Upload in the upper right, and then it will send it to your Google Drive. 